Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to do an update on how to install college football revamped to my very popular video. Um, that's helped a lot of guys. I've helped quite a few of you on Discord. I'll continue to do that. So even after this nice easy video, if it doesn't help you, let me know. What I've done is I put all the files we need on a Google Drive. Um, I cannot tell you how to get the game file itself, but I will have a folder to what the game file is supposed to look like in this video, and it will be included in the download all except for the disk file that you need. I cannot give you that file. I cannot tell you how to do it. I do not condone ripping it off the internet. You need to get it off a disk or off a digital download. Um, you guys can figure that out. That'll be the only part, but it is very simple, I promise you. Um, when we get done with this, you will definitely have a version of the PS3 emulator that runs the game the best. It's a version I use personally. I'll have the uh, the Dynasty file, the new release Dynasty file on there, so you, you can mess around with it. I have a video on how to use it. I'll have an older PS3 update file version 4.87, which is what I use to play college football revamped. You'll have everything you need. I'll show you exactly what everything goes, what it looks like. I need you to do me a huge favor. I need you to, you guys that aren't subbed to my channel, to hit that sub like crazy on this one. I guarantee it'll be worth it. The stuff I put out, you guys will definitely use. So a sub to the channel is worth it. I would super appreciate it. Uh, share it with your friends. Let's get this out. Let's get everybody playing. It's football season. Everybody wants to play, so let's do it. So the first thing I want to do, you're going to have to uh, download 7-Zip. So basically, you just type in 7-Zip in your Google search. It'll pop up. You put this first download. When you get in here, you just take the very first Windows one if you're on Windows. Very simple. Follow the prompts and install it. Now I have a link in the description to my Google Drive where I have my emulator file, uh, the update file, and all the stuff I use personally to run the game. So you'll you'll hit that link. It'll bring you to this page. It's too big to scan it for a virus, but it's a good file. It's been scanned from my end. You hit download. It'll bring you to this one. You hit download anyway. It'll pop up the download here in the bottom. I've already downloaded it to save time because it takes about a half hour or so to download it. To show you what it looks like, it'll pop this box up and it'll put it into your downloaded files area. We're going to go ahead and cancel it since we have that one. So that's the only thing you need to download. Here it is right here. What we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and make a new folder. To extract it to so we know where it's at. I'm just going to call mine PS3 so I know where the stuff's at. Now that you have 7-zip, you want to right-click on it. This is the file that'll come out of the zip file. College Football Revamp Files. That's what I named the folder. Right-click, go to the 7-zip icon. Extract Files. I'm going to go to these three little dots over here to the right. Click on that, and then we'll pick desktop and then a ps3 folder we just made and click ok and then ok again that'll unzip it to that folder and that'll put all the files we need in that folder take a couple seconds again let me remind you please hit that sub button it's very important they've been attacking these videos like crazy i've had to fight like hell to get them to keep them up because they're afraid they support piracy i do not support piracy Period. I cannot and I will not. Okay, now we have that. Let's open up our folder. Inside there, you'll have this folder that I created. All needed files. This bottom one is our emulator. That's the version I use. Whenever you run that, do not update it. Say no to the update that kicks in every time you start it. The next one up, the PS3 update.pup, that is our firmware. The next one's a Dynasty tool, that's a zip file. You'd have to unzip that just like you did this one. 
have version 19 of the college football revamped mod and then here's what the game file will look like you will i'm going to have to leave this part out i cannot leave this disk file in here but i will leave the rest of it in there you just burn your disk file or the disk file you have you just put it into this folder and you'll be good to go don't change anything else about this folder just put this disk file in here so this is what you'll get from the downloads from my google uh, download okay so let's go ahead and install the emulator so this will be this one right here just to be a hundred percent golden let's make i can do that right without uh let's make another folder we'll name this one emulator if i use the right keyboard here Okay, now let's right click and use our 7-zip that we downloaded and extract this file. We'll go to our three little dots to the right. Desktop, there's our emulator folder. Let's unzip that there. Okay, and okay. Now our emulator's in here. You don't need that other file anymore. So this is what the original emulator looks like once you run it for the first time then it'll generate more files in here so now that is in we're going to go ahead and run the emulator with this exec file here okay i always put don't show this again i've read this this basically is just saying what i said earlier about they don't condone piracy in any way which i do not either Okay, we got our emulator open. Well, this is what I'm talking about here with the pop-up. Do not update this, okay? Now we want to take in our next step is to go back to our folder. Go ahead and close the emulator folder for now. Go back to this one. Now we want to drag our update file into the emulator and update the emulator. So we'll go ahead and put yes to that. That gives us our firmware. We're going to go ahead and install it. I want to install 4.87. You guys can leave 4.88, but that's our 4.87. We're going to let it load. It takes a couple minutes. We're going to do this all real time in the video. This is exactly how long it will take. Shouldn't take more than 10 minutes or so. To do all these steps once once you know what you're doing pretty simple so once we get this part done we will go ahead and add the game into there and then after that it'll be the emulator or the uh, mod and that's it it's super simple it's really not that complicated this is the exact one i personally use so i've been able to make hundreds of videos with it playing dynasties and everything which i do have more dynasties coming up on the channel we're going to do a nebraska rebuild and a vanderbilt rebuild so keep your guys eyes keep your peeled for that or keep your eyes peeled for that i can't talk today had a long day today when i found another copy of nca 14 went and picked it up all right so now we have our emulator done we're going to go ahead and close it for now we're going to go back into our emulator folder that we made that has our emulator files and we're going to find this file here called dev hddo we're going to open the disk portion now let's go back down here and open the all needed files this is our folder that we downloaded from a google drive this is going to be the game file we're going to go ahead copy and paste that here i like to keep a copy of it in my other folder in case of a corruption okay so now we have the game in this is what it should look like once it's in here okay that's the actual ncaa 14 game you guys should be able to get a copy of that from your disc that you have let's rerun the emulator again now the game should be in there 
There's our NCAA 14. No, we do not want to update NCAA 14 right there. So we're completely, if you don't want to mod for college football revamped, you can just play the game right from this level. But we're here to get our college football revamp put in. So we have version 19 back in our files we downloaded from the Google Drive right here. This is the easy installer for version 19 of the college football revamped. Since this is the first time we're doing it, we do not have to delete our games.yml file. If you would already have this installed and we're going, say, from version 18 to 19, you would want to delete this games.yml file, and then, and then it will regenerate itself. We'll go ahead and drag this in. This will run an update the game from NCA 14 to college football revamped. This will take probably three to five minutes, maybe not that long. Basically, we have an emulator that's about 600 days old, but you will see when I'm done, it'll be a totally playable game in this version of the emulator. We went ahead and put on version 4.87. This is an older version, which I think personally runs better with college football revamped, but I, it's not that big of a deal. If you want to, you don't, if you don't want to use that one, you want to use 4.89, it'll still be fine. That's just the one I use. It's the one I included with my files. Um, once that part was done there, we'll, we'll have, we'll go ahead and run the game and show you that everything works. This computer here, is a six thread or six uh yeah six threads and it basically you need eight or i'm sorry six cores you need eight cores to run it good but you can run it on a six if you disable the sound this is also an alienware gaming laptop so i don't know it doesn't i haven't tried a lot on here once this gets in there and it's loaded, we'll go to our configurations and I'll show you a key setting that you need to set that a lot of you guys are having problems with uh, duplicate uh, images and end zones and stuff because you're not making this one setting. And we'll get to that here in about four more percent. As soon as this is done here, we'll go, there we have our college football revamped. So that is updated now. We'll go into the configurations. First, you want to configure a pad. I don't have a joystick hooked up to this one. So we're going to stay on the keyboard. But if you want the Xbox, you go right here, which the version of the mod that I put on here is for the Xbox and the new scoreboard. So if you want different ones, get a different version of the mod from the College Football Revamp site. You want to go with the PlayStation controllers or the old scoreboard, then download a different version of that mod. So you would want to go to the College Football Revamp site, which I will have linked in the description. You'd want to re-download it for the other version. So it's no big deal. Most people use Xbox controller, I think, these days, but that's would be, you would go down here to the X input for the Xbox one. The rest of them are self-explanatory. You'd want to set that up and then save it into our configurations yeah i don't really mess with the cpu that much sometimes you can change it around a little bit we're going to leave that alone gpu here's the important one okay guys you have to at least bump this up to 150 percent or you're going to get some problems basically this is a resolution scale it's scaling it up from 1280 to 720. 150 is 1920 by 1080 so it's 1080. If you have a good enough, you know, 1650 or better or whatever, you can go ahead and run this at 300%, which is 4K, which I can do on this machine because the, the graphics card is good enough. I like to set this to legacy single thread. It seems to run better. And white color buffers. I leave, that's what I set the GPU at right here. Okay. 
Now we're going to go ahead and go into the audio. You want to convert it to 16-bit, but since this one is a 6-core, I'm going to disable the audio, and it should run better. 8-cores, you're fine. Convert it to 16-bit. A lot of you guys have been trying to help you guys. You got 4-cores, or 4-cores is not going to run this. It's, you're wasting your time trying. Go ahead and hit Apply. Save that. And we're ready to boot. I just right click and boot the game. We should have the new screens with the Ohio State guy on there. There we go. If you want to enlarge it, you double click it or you click Alt Enter. It gives you the full screen. And this first initial load up takes a while to load the mod modules up. We're going to go ahead and do it real time. If you want to fast forward through this part of the video, you can, but we're going to go ahead and leave it on here. I'm going to show you exactly how much time it takes to do all this. I can't make it any simpler than this. All the files in one spot. You don't have to bunch jump around. You're using an emulator that's I know works because I use it personally on two different computers. This is why this is loading up. I'm going to take the opportunity to let you guys know I do have membership on my channel. I went ahead and made one that's super cheap. It's 99 cents a month. It's got a few other tiers, but for that one, you get uh, emojis and stuff or in the chat. I plan on doing some streaming, a lot more streaming on actually YouTube and Twitch both. So if you guys want to join, it's 99 cents. In the future, I'm going to have some giveaways. Some of those will be member-only giveaways. Um, I don't make a ton of money doing this. If you join the 99 cent level, I end up getting about 70 cents of that, I think, or 60. So it's not going to get me rich, but it'll give you cool eye, cool emojis and stuff to put in the chat, and I would appreciate the support. Potential future giveaways. Another thing, you guys, um, why I'm babbling on here, why this is rolling. You guys have really been killing my videos, and I appreciate it. I have had so many subs lately. It's been beautiful to see i'm glad i can help so many people it's really been a lot of fun meeting everybody i'm glad i really think this video here is going to help a lot more people get it i hope youtube leaves it up and doesn't think it's some type of piracy scheme i've had to fight to get two of my other videos put back on and they are killing right now i'm getting tons of views on those helping guys but that one's getting to be a year and a half old i wanted to do an update to that and this is our update video this is the last one i'm going to make showing how to install it hopefully you guys will have better luck using this emulator and everything it's going to be a little bit more dead space here i apologize for that but like i said i want to show you exactly how much time all this takes In the meantime, if you guys have any ideas for videos you want me to do or theories you want me to do more with this or some older games, versions of NCAA or Madden, I do a Madden throwback. I have many ideas, but not as much time to pull them all off as I would like. But I'm willing to listen to any. If you guys have any problems with installing the game after this, make sure to hit me up on Facebook or Twitter. We can set down and have a Discord one-on-one -on -one where I can help you try to figure it out. But I think this one's going to do it for you guys. Just really need those subs quickly. Don't even procrastinate. Just hit the sub as soon as you see it. <laughs> this. Maybe all I get out of this video, I don't know. It's hopefully, hopefully things will work good for you guys on your end. I'd love to see everybody be able to play this game. The guys that did this mod, it's awesome, but they can't help you if you have a pirated copy of the game. So you got to make sure to try to be understanding about that. They do not want to get sued or anything. With the new game coming out next July, it'll be interesting to see how things go here.
All right, that's the first set of modules. Then we got our shaders here. This will take an extra second or two. First time is always choppy as hell, so don't be too alarmed by that. But we do have version 19 because we got the new load screens and everything. There's our James Madison field. This is definitely college football revamped. It's definitely there and working. So there's no reason to not have this all work out for you guys. So of course there's no sound because I have the sound disabled because I'm on a six core machine. Push the X button if you have the keyboard. Go ahead and do what I do in every video that I do this and pick my Iowa Hawkeyes. We might have only won seven to three, but damn it, they're my team. I love them. There we are. We're in the game. We'll go ahead and load into a play now real quick and show you guys that the game working beautifully. For as, well, as beautifully as it can on a six core laptop anyway. <laughs> This, honest, be honest, this is the first time I've personally disabled the audio. I've helped other guys with six cores disable it, and their stuff ran super good. Looks like we're loading still, no lockup or anything. Piling the shaders, that's normal to begin with. There's our start the game button. There, everything's looking good. Just a tad choppy because we're on a six core. Go ahead and X out of this stuff. You see how beautiful it looks. Look at that beauty. A 300% really helps. So this ended up being a little bit longer video than I hoped, but I really think this one's going to do it for you. There's our beautiful game screen. Got the new scoreboard. It'll pop up in a second and show you a little bit better. It looks like the game's running a tad slow. I, have, I haven't done any of the settings on here. You want to go in and set your speed up faster or your settings and all that. You can see it looks good. It's playable on a 6-core, but it's going to be choppy. I appreciate you guys watching the video. We'll catch you on the next one.